Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to take an Excel document, an Excel file, and turn it into a PDF. It's actually built into Microsoft Excel. All you have to do is come to the file menu, and you're gonna go ahead and press save as. I'll show you a couple other ways as well. Once you press save as, you're gonna get this save as dialog box on Mac or PC, but both of them have a file format dropdown. By default, it saves it as an Excel file, but you could drop it down and choose PDF here. You could choose worksheet if you have multiple sheets here, or just one sheet if you have a single page Excel project like I do, and then you could go ahead and choose a destination to save it and press save. The other option is you could come to file and you could do this in the print menu. So go to the print menu here. And typically on Mac or PC, the print menu has an option in the corner where it says save as PDF. It should have some sort of drop down that looks this way. So you could go ahead and save it as PDF that way. Again, it will give you the same kind of a place to save your file with a save as name here. And then you could save it that way. And one last thing I'll show you that is very useful. If you come to file, you could actually share this and share it via email by sending a PDF, select that. And it basically, if you have any email type of software on your computer, it just opens it up with the PDF already right here. So you could go ahead and just type in someone's address and send it to them. I'm using Apple Mail in the case of being on a Mac, but it's the exact same on being on a PC with Excel. So that's three different ways to save and convert an Excel file into a PDF file. So let me go on my desktop. This is the book1.pdf. I could press spacebar and you could see that it was saved. You actually saved it on two pages because it was a really wide Excel document here. So if you have the same problem, you could actually solve that by coming to the page layout tab here on top. So I was on the home tab, I come to the page layout and if the width or the height are too much and you wanna save it on one page PDF, you could go ahead and change it from automatic down to one page and it will basically have your Excel document onto one page. So for example, if I go to file and print this time, I could see that it's on one page before it was on two pages or three pages, depending on my orientation. And now I could press the PDF icon and save as PDF or do it the same way as the previous one. And now if I save this version, it will be exactly on one page in a smaller font. So if you have that problem with orientation, and fitting on the page, that's how you solve that. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.